Below you will find a captivating text on the rise of Kodak, the founding of the company, and its early successes. Kodak is a company that revolutionized the photography industry. In the late 19th century, when photography was still a new discovery, the company developed a method that made it easier and cheaper for people to take photographs. The founder of the company, George Eastman, opened the door to a revolution in photography when he discovered this method. In the 1880s, Eastman realized that taking photographs was a cumbersome process. At that time, people needed specialized equipment for photography, which was quite expensive. Additionally, after taking a photograph, there was a need for a specialized laboratory to process the film and make prints. Eastman began searching for ways to make this process easier and cheaper. After several years of experimentation, he finally invented the Kodak camera in 1888, which would become a worldwide phenomenon. This camera was a rental camera system with a film, and after finishing the film, the user only had to return the camera to the company. The company would process the film and provide the customer with both the developed film and prints. Kodak quickly captured the public's attention. The camera allowed everyone to easily take photographs and turned photography into a hobby. Through advertising campaigns and other innovative strategies, the company rapidly established the Kodak brand as recognizable nationwide and later worldwide. Why did Kodak fail in the transition to digital technologies? Does Kodak's bankruptcy serve as a warning for industry leaders? Can you research who emerged as leaders in the photography industry after Kodak's withdrawal from the market and the impact of Kodak's exit on the industry? For all this and more, before starting the video, if you're interested in universal economic history, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to be informed about new videos I upload every day. Enjoy the watch. Universal Economic History Kodak's rise was not limited to its initial innovations. Over time, the company maintained its leadership position by introducing new products and innovations. One of Kodak's most significant innovations was the Brownie camera, launched in the early 1900s. The Brownie camera allowed everyone to take photographs cheaply and easily. It was sold for as little as $1 and introduced ordinary people to photography, sparking their interest. The Brownie camera was purchased by millions of people within just a few years and revolutionized photography. In addition to making photography more accessible to ordinary individuals, the Brownie camera also allowed Kodak to explore a new market. Photography was no longer limited to professional photographers but became prevalent in homes, family activities, and travels. Kodak targeted this new market by expanding its advertising campaigns and product range. From its inception, Kodak adopted a creative and innovation-focused approach. The company saw photography not only as a business but also as an art and passion. This approach enabled Kodak to become a pioneer in the film era and revolutionize photography. Kodak made significant innovations in the film development process. The company simplified the film processing procedure, offering customers an easier and faster service. Furthermore, Kodak's film quality and variety surpassed that of its competitors. These factors helped Kodak maintain leadership in the film industry. Kodak also took the lead in photography education and customer relations. The company provided photography education and workshops to its customers, prioritizing customer satisfaction. This approach helped Kodak build strong connections with its customers and establish a loyal customer base. Kodak encouraged creativity in photography. The company developed various film types and special effects to provide customers with more options. Additionally, Kodak offered tools such as photo albums to facilitate easy sharing of customers' photographs. Kodak failed in transitioning to the digital era, which led to its downfall. Unlike its success in the film era, Kodak lost its market leadership in the digital photography era and ultimately went bankrupt. During the transition to digital photography, Kodak made some innovations in digital photography technology. However, the company's primary business model still relied on film production and sales. 
Kodak did not conduct enough research on digital photography technology and failed to invest adequately in the digital photography market. Additionally, Kodak was resistant to the rapid adoption of digital technologies. These factors resulted in the rapid growth of Kodak's competitors in the digital photography market, who eventually seized market leadership. Kodak was late in introducing digital cameras, and their products were inadequate compared to those of their competitors. Moreover, Kodak resisted the development of digital technologies and misjudged the size and potential of the digital photography market. Kodak's decline was a result of its failure to adapt to the digital photography era. However, in its final years, new leaders and strategies attempted to revive Kodak. Firstly, Kodak began investing more in digital technologies and expanded its product portfolio to become more competitive in the digital photography market. Additionally, the company diversified into new business areas such as digital printing technologies and printing software. Among the changing strategies of the new leaders, Kodak made agreements and filed patent lawsuits using its patent portfolio. Furthermore, Kodak aimed to foster innovation and creativity by making changes in the company culture, focusing on innovation. The fundamental causes of Kodak's bankruptcy include its slow transition to digital technologies and its indifference towards competitors. Kodak wanted to maintain its success from the film era in the digital era but failed to respond to the rise of digital technologies. Although Kodak had discovered digital camera technology invented by Stephen Sasson in 1975, the company lagged in commercializing this technology. This resulted in Kodak falling behind technologically compared to its competitors in the digital photography market. Kodak also remained indifferent to the rise of digital photography and continued to focus on film production. This caused the company to lose its market leadership in the digital era. Kodak holds a significant place in the world of photography and innovation. The legacy of Kodak is evident through its lasting impact on photography and innovation. Founded as the Eastman Kodak Company in 1888, Kodak changed the photography industry worldwide. The company's founder, George Eastman, worked intensively to develop an easy-to-use camera and affordable film. With products like the Brownie camera that gained popularity worldwide, Kodak made photography accessible to the public and enabled everyone to take photographs. Kodak's innovation made a significant impact on the photography industry. The company gained a competitive advantage over others through the quality and ease of use of its films. Moreover, Kodak pioneered many technologies in the photography industry, such as color films, Polaroid photography, and resolution-enhancing technologies. In conclusion, Kodak's bankruptcy resulted from its failure to adapt to the digital era and its inability to sustain innovation. The company's history is filled with innovative approaches and inventions that revolutionized photography. However, their slow response to the transition to digital technologies, lack of interest in following their competitors' innovative steps, and failure to promptly meet changing consumer demands led to the company's downfall. Kodak's legacy is characterized by its lasting impact on photography and innovation. Nonetheless, the lessons to be learned are that large companies must continuously embrace innovation, quickly adapt to changing market conditions, and meet consumer expectations to succeed. These lessons serve as important reminders for future companies to avoid similar mistakes. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If there's a specific video you'd like me to make on economic history, don't forget to mention it in the comments section. I wish everyone a pleasant day. Universal Economic History